good people. It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk. Right back like I never left. So it's official. Kellen is coming back. And for all of y'all that's been rocking with me for my first year and a half to two years on YouTube, you're familiar with this area. It's my kitchen. Um, this is where I did all my videos. Well, a lot of my quick videos early in the game. Haven't been down here in a while. I mainly rock in my office now. But every once in a while, I move around a little bit. And um, this is just funny. It's a blast from the past. This is where I used to record every post game. Just come in here and just let it out. This is where I did a lot of my most frustrating videos. If you go back and watch, um, when I'm frustrated, for some reason, I'm usually in my kitchen. <laughs> and um, I'm frustrated. I'm not excited. You know, maybe some of y'all can talk me off the ledge. Maybe I can talk myself off the ledge. Maybe time will help heal all wounds. Um, right now, though, I'm not happy with what I saw last year as far as a cumulative, yes, Kellen Moore has had two number one offenses since the three in the three years he's called the, the Cowboys offense as an offensive coordinator. He had a number one offense in 2019, number one offense in 2021. But it didn't really amount to much. We missed the playoffs one year, and this year we got bounced in the first round. So, and I am not, I repeat, I am not putting this all on Kellen Moore. Dak Prescott and the whole offense are culpable too. Mark Mike McCarthy. Um, from the offensive line receivers, um, running backs, etc. Everyone has a part in us not getting the job done when it meant, meant the most. But the purposes of this video, let's just talk about Kellen. You know, we got all off season to talk about the other parts. Um, play calling when the competition is bad is amazing, you know, because our talent out talents the other team. You know, I'm not saying that I could do it. But I'm, not, I'm saying that you don't have to be that amazing to get that done. You know what I'm saying? But when talent meets our talent level, his scheme just seems to not quite work as well. You know, his play calling doesn't have a rhyme or reason. It doesn't seem like he builds towards something throughout the game. It doesn't seem like it's strategically matched for each team. It's just that whole we'll aggressively attack what the defense gives us and not pay attention to our stars thing, just got old quick. You know, in this offense, which is a baby of Boise State and Scott Linehan, Jason Garrett's offense, we don't put emphasis on our stars as much. And I'm hoping that that changes. I'm hoping Mike McCarthy get involved, gets involved. Um, I'm hoping that Kellen stops being Dak's friend and starts to coach him harder, if that's even possible, since he was Dak's backup at one point. So I don't even know how this works. Um, I'm hoping that the scrutiny that I'm sure Kellen is aware of, he takes heed to it, knowing that, yo, your ish do stink. You not only didn't get a coaching job when you're supposed to be the golden boy, um, the fans ain't happy with you right now. And you ain't really experienced that since you've been the offensive coordinator. Everyone's always held you in high regard. I was one of them. But I'm hoping that Kellen Moore comes back reinvigorated, knowing that he got to do better, you know? Because what we put on the table when it mattered just didn't, didn't get the job done. It just didn't. I just want to know how y'all feel about Kellen Moore returning. Um, like I said, I'm not excited. It is what it is at this point. But, and I'm not excited. I'm not. Um, I'm sure y'all should hear my, my kids up there in the background. But it's Sunday evening. We're getting ready for the week. Um, yeah. Initial thoughts is. I don't want the same old, same old. So I know people get better. You know, I've seen Dak get better every year since he's been in the league, whether people want to admit it or not. I've seen other players improve as the years go on. Kellen Moore is very green. Three years of being an offensive coordinator. He has a lot of places to improve, and I think he can improve. But I need to see it. You know, it's going to be hard to big it up and, and, and hype it up in the offseason. But if y'all know me, I'll find a way to do it. But right now, I ain't. I ain't excited. I, I just wanted some new, you know. Sometimes new ain't always better. I can admit that. Sometimes you get the new and it's worse than the old. So, you know, maybe we dodged a bullet. But I'm just hoping that Mike McCarthy knows his job is on the line. Like, literally on the line. Um, he got Dan Quinn and Sean Payton over his shoulder. 
Um, I'm hoping that Kellen Moore knows that your offensive, your, your, your fan base threw you in the trash for like a good two weeks. So I hope you understand that. Just hoping that everybody on this offensive staff, all of the offensive players know that we got to do better. But look, I just want to know what y'all think about this situation. I ain't too happy, but I guess it is what it is. It's your boy, Mr. Roman. I'll holler.